Right, Pete, tell me about what you struggle with, mate. Right, my main bad shot is a low left. Okay. But maybe a bit hooky left. Yeah, okay. So it's getting height in the shot as well. Which yeah, is so it's getting flight, it's getting, flight. A, it's getting a more consistent trajectory. Correct. But it's also yeah. hitting that ball straighter rather than overshaping the hook. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Right, Pete, just show me what you normally do. Show me, show me your normal golf shot. Yeah, so it's a real thin, low hook. That's, yeah? that's my bad shot. That would yeah. be about right, yeah? Yeah, that's okay, bad perfect. shot. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to put some dots on the back of your glove and we're going to help you out to do it correctly. So what we're going to see, we're going to see three dots yeah. on the back of that glove and then on top of your knuckles. Now, when you take your glove off, you might have Sharpie on your fingers, but that's okay. Yeah, right. okay. yeah? Absolutely. So what that's all to do with is how we present that golf club back to the golf ball with the relevant amount of loft on, but still keeping that face square, yeah? Or squarer yeah. to the target line rather than being really, really closed. Okay? So where people, most people misunderstand this and when people that hit a low hook is what they do is they have the face closed to the target line. Yeah? yeah quite obvious. An impact. Yeah. Quite yeah. obvious. Yeah. Right. So what we've got to learn to do is control the club face with the left arm. Because if we control it with the right arm, we go open, 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 panic, and close it at the bottom. Then hook. And yeah. then low hook. Yeah. yeah. So what you and I are gonna learn to do is we're gonna learn to control the club and the club face with your left hand. So when we get to the top of the backswing, we can see three knuckles in the back of your left hand. Yes. Okay? Yeah. When we get halfway down, because the left hand's gonna start to rotate the club face towards the golf ball, at shaft parallel, we can see two knuckles. We can. And at impact, we can see one knuckle. Yeah. Where's the club face? Square. And with plenty of loft on it. Correct. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Makes Perfect. Sense. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So just get me up to the top, bud. Because your setup's brilliant. You, and this is where most people are, they get a little bit over enthusiastic about the setup. Yeah. Your setup's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay, good. So from here, we can see three knuckles, yes or no? Yes, we can. Perfect. As we get to shaft parallel... That's two. That's two. As we get to impact... How many is that? One. Where's the club face? Square. With, with plenty, plenty of loft on. on it. Perfect. Okay, so what all we're going to do is we're going to really feel that we control that club face with the left arm rotation coming down. So you're going to go from three to two to one. Pretty straight. Yeah, Good. But thin. And again, just a tiny <laughs> bit thin. Yeah. Yep. And because it's a new motor skill, it'll take a little bit of time, just a couple of shots. Mm -hmm. Three to two to one. Where's that ball gone? Straight. Absolutely dead straight. Good. Just thinning them a bit, but yep. I'm sure that will uh, come so out. This is why I, so this is a, very similar to what most people do. When they're changing a motor skill, they get tight. Yeah. Right. Watch this. If my arm pressure is the same, which is what Liam yeah. and I discussed, right? That club has got to come back to the same place it started from. Yeah. Which is ground level. Watch this. All I'm going to do is tighten my arms up. What's the club head done? Lifted. Perfect. Yeah. Because the minute your arms tighten up, all the muscles and the ligaments in your arms get shorter. So you actually can't get back to the ground. Oh, that's interesting. Because most people, when they hit the top shot or the thin shot, they all go, I know what you've done, you've lifted your head up. Nobody's ever lifted their head up in a game of golf, ever. That's a big statement, mm. yeah? <laughs> but what they all do, yeah, is they all stand there and they all tighten their arms up in the downswing. So as we're rotating that left hand towards the ball, yeah, we're going to keep those arms a little softer. Three to two to one, get the ground. Dead straight wow. and 30 feet higher. Does that make sense? The look of shock on your face is what I really like. <laughs> yeah? And it really, yeah, that yeah. was you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So we know the arm pressure is correct if we get the ground. Yeah, that's our observable evidence. And we know the, the three, two, one knuckles are correct if the ball's going straight or higher. There you go. Straighter and higher. And because the ball's in the air longer, it goes further. Yeah, of course it does, yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? It all makes sense. 
So get me up to the top again, mate. Let's rehearse it because the rehearsals become more important than the shots that you yeah. hit because when we're changing a motor pattern, it's important to rehearse it. So look at three and see it visually. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Three to two. two. Yeah. Two to oh, one. Oh, yeah. So when you look at impact, yeah. you can see one knuckle, so you've got a feedback yeah. loop, but you can also see the loft yeah. and the direction on the club face. Yes. Perfect. So keep those arms nice and relaxed, get me the ground. We're going to turn that club face with the left hand. Three, two, one. Beautiful. There you go. That's a great shot. Where's your low hook gun? <laughs> Hopefully it's disappeared. Well, it has. Absolutely, yeah. 100%. Because what we've got, we've now got fixed points. Because you know it, the exact amount of rotation of that left arm yeah. that's going to allow you to hit that golf shot on a regular yeah. basis. And obviously I was gripping it. Oh, way too tight. But every, tight. everybody that walks yeah. in, my, you know, my coaches here at Carroll's Green is, they're all too tight. Yeah. Yeah? Good. Keep the arm pressure nice and relaxed. Turn that left hand. And look how predictable that ball flight is, but look how high that ball's going. They're all going in the same place. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Does that make sense? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah? yeah. Because it really, yeah. really does work. Yeah. Because as opposed to guessing, and we know this in every walk of life, you can only manage stuff that you can measure. Correct. We know yeah. this. Yeah. Right? So if we know that we see three at the top, we know we see two halfway down, and we know we can see one at impact, we know that we've got a finite amount of rotation, don't we? We do, yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you've got a finite amount of rotation, you have a finite amount of ball flights. Yeah. Which is generally pretty straight with a little baby draw on. The problem is, Pete, is if you've got infinite amount of rotation, you can create infinite ball flights. <laughs> oh, I can go Which is what place, we don't yeah. want. Yeah. And this is where people struggle for their consistency because they don't understand exactly how to control that club face into impact to create both direction and to create trajectory which is what you're now doing yeah come on right let's, yeah, let's go again so we know the arm pressure is correct because we get into the ground we know the rotation of that left arm is going to go three two one Oh, that was tight coming down, feel yeah, it? It was, yeah. Cool. I tried to not. Again. I, I tried to not. You tried to hit that harder. Correct. I was told a very long time ago, yeah, by one of the greatest instructors ever lived, a guy called Bob Tosky, that golf's a game of effortless power, not a game that involves yeah. a powerful effort. Isn't that such a lovely idea? That's your effortless power right there. How does that feel? Fantastic. Perfect. Right, Pete. So, do you hit the same shot with the driver? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, again, what we're going to have here is consistency yeah. of process. Yeah. So you're going to think about doing exactly the same thing with the, with driver. the driver than you do with se as you do with 7-iron. Yeah. Because what we're really trying to create is one swing for all 14 clubs. Yeah. Because life is honest to God too short to learn 14 different golf oh, swings. Oh, of course. So okay. if we have the same process all the way through it, yeah, yeah top of the back swing, three, two, one, you'll square the face and you'll keep the loft. Yeah. Off you go. So focus on exactly the same idea. That's just right in this foot. Then. Keep that arm pressure nice and relaxed. Yeah. Square the face with the left hand. Oh, look. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah? So what we can <laughs> see there is we can do exactly the same with driver. We can do it with seven iron. Yeah. We can do it with wedge because the concept is the same. Yeah. Yeah? So as long as we've got that finite amount of rotation, three to two to one, you know where that ball's gonna go. And that's the greatest description of confidence I've ever heard, Yeah. is knowing where the ball's going before you've hit it. Well, of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great idea. So keep the arm pressure nice and relaxed. Go from three to two to one. Beautiful. Caught the ground there. A, a bit. tiny so bit, but even bit. if you caught the ground, it's still gone yeah, it's way still, higher. It's still a worker. And it's still in play. Yeah. So what we've got is even when you miss strike it, you're then still in play. play. You still own a functional golf yeah. shot. As opposed to you standing there having to go looking for it. 
Yeah. Yeah, the ball's now going where you're looking. You really don't have to go yeah. looking for it anymore. I like this uh, loose grip as well. Yeah. It's more relaxing your arms than a loose grip, but keep the arm pressure the same. Go three, two, one with those knuckles. There you I go. Try, I try to help that a bit. Okay. Understand it. Try, just try. But even that works. Yeah. Because even that's really, really super, yeah. super straight. Yeah. Let's get that. Looks good. Get the arm pressure good. Perfect. Relax. Okay. Get me to the top and stop again, mate. Good. So again, the rehearsal becomes important. We got three there. Yeah. You got two there. Yeah. I'm on there. I'm one there. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Look how much height you got on that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. It's nice. That's awesome. It's really. Do it again. Good. Keep the arms good. Three, two, one. Work that club face with that left hand. There you go. That's the one. That's the one. Where's this come from? Yeah. You're a quick learner, aren't you? That's awesome. Right, Simon, thanks very much for the lesson. Absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it. That's Perfect. So simple. And the good thing is it made sense and we saw immediate improvement. That's, yeah. the, that's the cool part yeah. about it, yeah. is that you come in, you've got a simple process to work on. All of a sudden, you get your height, you get your, a straight ball flight. You'll enjoy your golf. Oh, yeah, I do. But, and also, you'll be a new glove. And I'll be a new glove. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>